this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a little Easter chick they're really fun to make and you can make them stuffed or you can leave the bottom open and add a egg inside and use it as an egg cozy now what you're going to need for this project is any kind of worsted weight number four yarn. These are all, all Red Heart Super Savers, and I did one in a variegated so that you could see you can use solids, you can use pastels or brights, or you can use a variegated. Any kind of worsted weight number four yarn will work. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook, five millimeter. You're gonna need a needle for sewing it closed and adding your eye and weaving in your ends. And of course you'll need a pair of scissors. Now the yarn that I'm going to be using today is Red Heart Super Saver. It's just a lighter yellow, kind of a muted yellow. I thought it would work good so that we can see what we're doing. And then you're gonna need a little bit of a dark brown or black for the eye and a little bit of orange or yellow, whatever color that you choose for the beaks. I'm using orange since I'm using yellow for my chick. The name of this pattern is the Easter Baby Chick. Now this is a free pattern on my blog and I'll put that blog link right down under the video in the notes so you can check your stitch counts. The other thing that you're going to need is either some boiled eggs <laughs> or some polyester fiber fill and it takes very little to stuff one of these chicks. I say about a handful. <laughs> tiny bit all right so let's gather up our supplies and we'll make some chicks all right let's get started the first thing we need to do is make a slip knot and then we're going to chain 20 There's 10. I chained 20 chains and we want to make sure that we don't twist our chain. So I lay it out flat so I can see the braid and then I'll just turn it this way because we're going to be joining to the first chain. Pull this over here with a slip stitch. Just slip that loop through both of those loops and then we're going to chain one. So we have a nice big circle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place one half double crochet in each of the chains around. And just in case you're not sure what a half double crochet is, yarn over your hook, go in the next chain or stitch that you're working and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook yarn over and go through all three of those loops and we're going to do this in every chain around and that's going to give us 20 half double crochets. Yarn over, go through the chain or stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. And we'll place one half double crochet in each of the 20 chains and then we'll join to the top of the first half double crochet that we stitched. So one half double crochet in each chain all the way around our circle. I placed one half double crochet in each of the chains around and now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet and then chain one. Now the chain one, whoops, the chain one does not count as a stitch. I just call it a joining chain one and that, uh, the reason it doesn't count as a stitch is because I want all my half double crochets to, to lay evenly. And so I just call that a joining chain one. 
It doesn't do anything other than just make it lay better. All right, so we have 20 half double crochets for row two. Row one was our chain, row two was our half double crochet row. Now, for row three, we're going to place one half double crochet in the first two half double crochets. There's one and two. And then in the third half double crochet, we're going to place two half double crochets. And so the pattern around for row three is one half double crochet in the next two stitches and then two half double crochets in the next and we'll repeat this all the way around. And that's going to get us to increase from 20 half double crochets to 26 half double crochets. So we're going to stitch one half double crochet in the next two stitches. There's one and two. And then two half double crochets in the next. And we're going to do this all the way around this row. So we completed this row, join to the top of that first half double crochet and chain one. And the next four rows are super easy. All we're going to be doing is placing one half double crochet in each half double crochet around, join to the first half double crochet, chain one, and repeat for four, a total of four rows. And here's the chick, and this one's in bright yellow. We sewed it closed, but that's the chain. Here's our beginning 20. And then here's our increase row, and then one, two, three, four more rows up the side of our chick. And then we'll do the tail feathers and the, the little crown part here. And just add the, the beak and the eye. Super easy pattern. All right, so we're placing one half double crochet in each half double crochet around joining to the first half double crochet and chain one and then repeat for a total of four more rows. This is what your chick should look like after seven rows. Our first row was our chain our second row was our 20 half double crochets. On our third row, we increased to 26 half double crochets. And then we stitched one, two, three, four additional rows of one half double crochet in each half double crochet around. And the next thing we're going to do is our tail feathers. And so fold your chick in half so that your end is on the edge. And you're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Get some yarn out there. And then you're going to hook with a slip stitch to the first chain so you have a little loop. Like that. And then we're going to chain nine. One, whoops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's your second little tail feather. And on this one, you're going to slip stitch right in that stitch. And there we go. Just like that. So you've got two little loops there and those are your tail feathers. Now we're going to take our chick and fold it flat again. And we're going to be stitching across the top and we're going to be stitching across both sets of loops. To, we're going to close the top and create the little head at the same time. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure you've got everything even and together. And we're going to go through the first stitch on this side 
and the first stitch on the other side. There we go. And we're going to slip stitch. That was the first stitch. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the next seven. So we're going to go through both, pull up a loop, and go through both loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, and the last one is seven. All right, so we just sewed those together doing single crochets across. And now we have this little opening. But what we're going to do here is by the stitches that we make, create a little bump that looks like the head. So in the next two stitches, I'm sorry, in the next stitch, we're going to stitch two half double crochets together. So we're going to go through both. We've got a loop on our, let me start over so you can see what I did. Yarn over on your hook, go through both of those loops, pull that loop up, yarn over and go through both, just like we've been doing half double crochet, but this time we're going through both of those loops. So we've got two half double crochets together. And that's going to start giving us an increase, so we'll see the head start to form. The next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets together. So we yarned over, we're going through both sets of loops, pull our loop through, yarn over, go through one set of loops, yarn over, and the last two. So yarn here, and we're going to place another double crochet in that same set of loops. So there's we did two half double crochets together, and then we did two double crochets together. Now we're going to do two double crochets again. So we'll go through those two loops on the next set of loops, and we'll do two half double or two double crochets together. One, two. And now we're going to bring the head back down. So we're going to do a single crochet in the next loop, set of loops. And then in that last set of loops, we're just going to do a slip stitch. And this is how it should look. We did, it, we did a slip stitch here, and then we single crocheted across. Then we did two half double crochets together, two double crochets, two double crochets, a single and a slip stitch. And that makes the form of the head and also closes the top of our chick. And now we're just going to cut our yarn and tie off. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take my hook and go right up there and pull that string to the inside. And then I can weave that in later. And this is how the body of your chick should look. To make the little beak for our chick, we're going to make a slip knot with my orange yarn. And you can, of course, use yellow or whatever color that you're going to do for your beak. And we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. There's our four chains. And now we're going to place one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's our first chain, and we're going to place a single crochet in the next chain. And then we're going to place another single crochet in the next chain. And then the last chain, we're going to place a half double crochet. And that's going to give us a little bit of a shape of a beak. And then we're going to tie off and leave yourself a little bit of yarn because we're going to use those strings to sew that beak onto our chick. So here's our beak and here's our little chick and we're going to use that to tie that on or to sew that on to our chick. 
So I'm going to thread on the one that we just tied off that's on the bottom. I'm going to put my hand up inside the chick and just pull that to the inside. Then I'm going to take the other one, put that on my needle, and I'm going to sew it through where I have that first, I should say the last, slip stitch that we stitched. And I'm going to pull that through just like that. And then I'm going to make one little stitch that goes through the beak and then goes right inside my chick. And there's the beak. And I'm going to turn this inside out. And then I'm going to just put a little knot here to keep it. And then I can come back and weave that in later. Now, the last thing that we need to do for our chick is add some eyes. So I'm going to cut a piece of black yarn. You can use black or brown or blue or whatever color you want for your eyes green. You're going to place just a slight stitch and we're going to go back and forth and this is done in those first two double crochets on the head. So I don't need to go up inside. I just remembered that. I was thinking I needed to go up inside the chick, but I do not. All right, I'm going to hold that string and I'm going to go back and forth. And then I'm going to put it right down inside. That's what I was thinking, I guess. So that I can tie it off on the inside of the chick. And we'll do the same thing with this extra one. I'm going to use my hook. Make it a little easier just to pull it inside. Just go right up there and pull that down inside. And then we can weave that in again later. So here's our chick. It stands up great. Here's my egg. You can slide the egg inside and he makes a nice egg cozy. Perfect for putting inside your Easter basket. But if you don't want to do that, you can stuff it with some stuffing. And I'll show you how to close it up. Now when you begin, it's a good idea to start with a nice long tail because we're going to use this tail from the beginning chain to close up our chick. And it's up to you how stuffed you want to stuff it. Okay, so now I'm going to take that string that I started with. And I'm just going to hold that closed and just do some stitches across. Close that up. If you didn't leave yourself a long tail at the beginning, it's okay. Just weave that end in and add another piece of yarn. It's, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, and what I do is I give it just a little bit of a pull so it gathers a little. So it pulls that in just a little bit that back on there. I'm just going to go back right down through there to weave that in. And a little bit showing. There we go. And there's our stuffed Easter chick. Isn't that fun? And these are great. Kids love to play with these and they love to have them in their um, Easter baskets. And like I said, you can make them in just about any colors that you want. They don't have to be pastels. They can be brights, any colors that you want. And these whip up really, really fast. So you can make a bunch of them. If you got a bunch of families coming over for Easter, they make great table place markers. You can put a piece of paper with their name on it and put one of these on each of the plates. And then if you, if you had a family come over, they can take one of these home as a, um, you know, a, just a party favor. And if, say you have a Sunday school class or a kindergarten class or just a group of kids that you want to give a present to, these are so much fun to make and so quick. 
and you can give them away because kids love them. They throw them around. They're great out in the yard and they're great for um, like going out to hunt Easter eggs. Kids love to find these and they don't spoil if they don't find them. <laughs> so make yourself a bunch of Easter chicks.